So that happened. SpaceX actually did it. They caught a super heavy booster on the first try and made it look so easy. I'm Jack Byer. I'm Max Evans. I'm Dee. I'm Dan. And this is your Starbase, Starbase Update. Sponsored by Novium. And here we currently stand on October 10th, still waiting for an official announcement and confirmation from with the FAA about the launch license being granted for them to fly in hopefully three days or four days time. My name is Max Evans and I am a spaceflight photographer uh, for nasaspaceflight.com. Currently in Starbase, Texas at L-4, hopefully, for Starship's fifth integrated flight test and arguably the most significant flight of the Starship program to this point. Um, the main objectives for this point are getting ship to its, uh, its targeted suborbital tra trajectory over to the Indian Ocean and survive re-entry um, completely and without scars like, like Flight 4. <laughs> and also, it has been the bigger headline, is bringing the booster back for a catch with the chopsticks here at the launch site for recovery ops. But I think they're going to do it. I feel, I feel confident. Tomorrow we have remote camera setup scheduled. We have a lot of stuff to do there. We have the trailer to move, to set up. I have all my stills cameras, all my video cameras. There's a lot to happen. I have four cinema cameras with me for this launch. I really need to capture this as well as I can. It's gonna be such a, an amazing thing to witness if they go for that catch attempt. Last night was gorgeous. We had an aurora visible here. The solar storm, everything just lined up. So we got up onto the sand dunes, got some shots, and then we started racing out into the salt flats on the south side, south of SpaceX's property, to try to shoot the aurora behind Starship. Now that was really challenging. We got some photos where you could see the pink in the sky, but it wasn't bright enough to really match the spotlights that SpaceX had on their vehicle. Well, good almost afternoon, still technically morning. Uh, ourselves at NSF and the rest of the media pool who is present for Flight 5 are all currently meeting to pick up their badges and get ready for camera setup which for launch that is scheduled to take place in under 24 hours. Um, and some really exciting news, the license for launch officially just dropped. Um, and the language of the license indicates that they have been cleared to bring the booster right back to, to the, uh, the launch tower. So we've been waiting for it for a while. Uh, it certainly came out of left field since we were all expecting late November, uh, but we are all here now and the license just dropped and they are cleared to fly. So fingers crossed and time to be impatient. So at least at Danger Lot, uh, I'm putting at least two cameras uh, along next to our trailer uh, that we're putting over there. So at least those two and I have three more remotes that I'm still coming up with a plan of where to put them whether it be at this spot um, or all at Danger Lot. I'm not sure yet, uh, but there are still options to work and we have about three hours in total for camera sets. So thankfully it's not a terribly rushed procedure. So we got done with our remote camera setup with SpaceX this morning, setting up in the Danger Lot and also in the parking lot. I didn't set up much there, I just did one DSLR and a single GoPro because we have property where I'll be able to set up some more cameras to get extra awesome views. In addition, my, I plan to shoot sunset tonight, the last sunset of this full stack before hopefully the booster is back in those chopsticks.
This video was sponsored by Novium. They make really cool magnetically floating pens that are inspired by space and are a great way to have an artful little reminder of the coolness of weightlessness in any workspace. Weightlessness is one of the most exciting things about spaceflight to me and one of the things I'd most like to experience. So of course, I love these pens. The Interstellar Edition has a tilt of 23.5 degrees, reminiscent of the Earth's axis of rotation. It's available in several great colors like Neptune Blue, Starlight Silver, and Mars Magma. Plus, there are premium editions made with 18 karat gold, and they even have one with a real meteorite embedded in the pen. I personally really like the look of the Future Edition, which features an interchangeable tip, so you can have a rollerball or fountain tip and easily switch back and forth as desired. It's not only a high-end pen that writes really well, it's an endlessly satisfying addition to any desk. So use code NSF to get 10% off plus free shipping on all hover pens. Use the link in the description so Novium knows we sent you. That's a cool gift. Thanks again to Novium for sponsoring this video and for making a cool product.
Landing bird startup. <laughs> what a cool view of the reflection of that landing bird. You can see the water just behind the ship. Starship is landed. Thanks to Novium for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use code NSF for 10% off a hover pen and free shipping, or click the link in the description. Okay, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> you